Hi, you're listening to Cultivate Curiosity, a podcast that inspires the next generation to stay curious. Cultivate Curiosity is brought to you by the Emerald Coast Science Center, a nonprofit interactive science museum and STEAM educational facility in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. This podcast is perfect for anyone curious about the world we live in because you never know what we'll talk about next. Hi, my name is JC and I'm the social media coordinator here at the Emerald Coast Science Center. Today's episode of Cultivate Curiosity dives into a small but significant incident that unfolded in one of the world's most remarkable underground ecosystems, the Carlsbad Caverns. You may have heard about the Cheetos bag incident, which set off a chain reaction in the cavern's delicate environment. While it sounds like a minor mishap, it led to a fascinating exploration of biomes, ecosystems, and how human actions can ripple through nature. Before we jump into the details of this incident, let's take a moment to appreciate what Carlsbad Caverns is, a massive underground cave system located in the Guadalupe Mountains of New Mexico. Formed millions of years ago by sulfuric acid dissolving the limestone rock, this cavernous biome is home to some of the most unique organisms on Earth. What makes caves like Carlsbad special is that they are highly sensitive closed systems where even the smallest change can have significant consequences. Now, let's go over what happened. A visitor, like so many of us, probably just enjoying their snack, accidentally dropped a bag of Cheetos in the big room, Carlsbad's largest chamber. Because of the cave's high humidity, the Cheetos bag softened quickly, creating a perfect environment for fungal growth. Within a short time, microbes began to thrive on the materials in the bag. These microorganisms wouldn't normally grow in such a nutrient-poor environment, But thanks to the new food source, they started to spread across the floor and walls of the cave. And it didn't stop there. Insects like cave crickets, mites, and spiders were drawn to this new food source, forming a temporary food web. The whole incident illustrates how even a tiny piece of human waste can affect a fragile ecosystem. But to really understand the science behind this, we first need to dive into the concept of a biome. So what is a biome and why is it important? Biomes are large communities of plants, animals, and microorganisms that have adapted to live in specific environments. Examples include deserts, forests, and marine ecosystems. Each biome has its own unique climate, geography, and resources that determine what can live and grow there. But not all biomes are visible from the surface, like the caves that form underground. Cave biomes are particularly fascinating because life in these ecosystems is often isolated from the outside world. With no sunlight, low food availability, and a stable climate, the organisms in these caves have adapted in extraordinary ways. They've evolved to survive with minimal nutrients, and any sudden changes in their environment can have a huge impact. In Carlsbad Caverns, nutrient levels are naturally low, and the organisms living there are used to surviving in this harsh, resource-poor setting. When something like processed food, rich in carbs, fats, and preservatives, gets introduced, it essentially acts as a fertilizer. Microbes and fungi that would normally remain dormant or grow slowly suddenly have everything they need to thrive, and they grow rapidly. That growth can spread quickly, and if left unchecked, it can lead to lasting damage to the cave's delicate ecosystem. You might be wondering, how did these microbes grow so quickly in the cave? The answer lies in the cave's stable conditions. Carlsbad Caverns maintains a high level of humidity and a consistent temperature, which means that once a nutrient source is introduced, microbes can grow without the environmental fluctuations that would usually slow their development. In fact, within just a few hours, mold had begun to spread on nearby surfaces, creating an entire micro-ecosystem of its own. This is why the park rangers acted so quickly. Even though they were able to clean it up in about 20 minutes, the long-term effects could have been far worse if it had gone unnoticed. The ripple effect of even a small incident like this is why we emphasize the importance of following guidelines when visiting natural environments, especially those as delicate as caves. You've probably heard the phrase, leave no trace. This principle is crucial when exploring fragile ecosystems. It means packing out everything you bring with you, whether it's food, drink, containers, or even small pieces of trash. In environments like Carlsbad Caverns, even biodegradable materials can cause harm because they introduce nutrients that wouldn't normally be present. Now, let's zoom out a little bit. Why is it so important to preserve cave ecosystems? 
For one, they are home to species that exist nowhere else on Earth. Many of the organisms that live in caves have evolved over millions of years to survive in these nutrient-poor environments, and the introduction of outside materials can disrupt the delicate balance. For example, certain species of fungi or bacteria that thrive in nutrient-rich environments could start to outcompete native cave species, potentially leading to extinctions or permanent changes in the ecosystem. But it's not just about caves. This incident serves as a broader reminder of how human activity impacts natural environments everywhere. Whether we're talking about forests, oceans, or deserts, introducing foreign materials into a biome can trigger a chain reaction that affects the entire ecosystem. So how can you help prevent incidents like this from happening? Aside from following the leave no trace principles, one great way is to educate yourself and others about the environments you visit. Understanding how ecosystems function, what makes them unique, and why they are fragile can make you a more responsible traveler and nature enthusiast. For example, when visiting caves, know that food, drinks, and even certain types of clothing fibers can introduce harmful materials into the cave. Stick to water and be mindful of the rules set by park rangers. They're there to protect these ecosystems for future generations. In conclusion, the Cheetos Back incident might seem small, but it highlights the intricate balance of nature and how easily it can be disrupted. Whether you're exploring a cave, hiking through a forest, or swimming in the ocean, always remember that your actions have consequences. Protecting our planet's diverse ecosystems is a responsibility we all share. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Cultivate Curiosity. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and remember, small actions can make a big difference. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Cultivate Curiosity. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at socialmedia at ecscience.org. Tune in for our next episode in two weeks.